Right, uh, what I've got here is uh, a four segment solar cell out of a calculator. Now I've got it hooked up to a 470 microfarad capacitor. Now I'm using there a, uh, a germanium diode. Now I'm using that because uh, the breakdown voltage is 0.3 as opposed to 0.7 on a normal diode. And I'm shorting it out at the second with the yellow lead. Now if I put this towards the lamp and at the moment we've got no volts across it. If I unshort this see that the uh, the voltage is climbing and it will climb to 3 volts because uh, that's what we seem to be getting out of the uh, little full cell thing down there so at, at the moment all we're doing is reading the voltage across this like uh, 470 uh, microfarad capacitor And it's slowly ticking up. And that should go all the way up to uh, 3 volts. But what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to test it out on uh, just a normal green high bright LED. To see if we can get that to uh, light. So I'm going to hook that up now. What I've done now is uh, we've got the voltage of uh, 2.913. So you have to be happy to sit there now. And I've took one lead out, going round to an LED, and the other lead I've got coming out and round. This way, and let's see what happens when we hook this up. Well, it lights up quite brightly to start with. I think that's because of the uh, the amount that was stored inside the uh, capacitor, but it, it seems to continue to uh, to light. Now. Uh, that's lighting at uh, two point. Why is it going down slightly? And up again. Uh, two point two nine ish. And uh, that's lit. Now uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to hook up a uh, hundred milliamp meter in series with it. Uh, to see what kind of uh, amp draw we're getting from this as well. So I'll do that now. What I'm doing is I'm, uh, I'm just letting the uh, voltage ramp back up to about 2.9 ish. And what I've done is I've got the, uh, the LED hooked up in series with a uh, little signal meter here. Uh, zero is basically no amps and I don't know if you can see the scale on it but uh, it's got one through five and it's a hundred milliamps to get it to deflect to five so it's quite happily at 2.9 now so let's see what happens when we uh, hook this up And we're still getting the LED to light. And it's lighting at roughly 
10 milliamps. If I, uh, if I let that build back up again, because uh, we're at 2.33 at the moment but so uh, if I disconnect that and let this build back up again so when it gets to about uh, 2.9 oh no that's uh, as far as we can get it this when we first actually place it on it you can see that the uh, the capacity uh, goes way up and then like uh, it drags it back down so we can get like uh, it to light up stably at about well 20 milliamps at 2.345 now uh, my plan is to uh, uh, increase that uh, capacitor there by putting a super cap on it uh, we can place the uh, solar cell in direct sunlight and can see where we can go from there but uh, I'm pretty certain if we've got a jewel thief on the end of here we'll get this to light up uh, much more efficiently from such a small solar cell layer that's great then so you can see it's still lit and thanks for watching